Hello my friends, I want to welcome you to my channel. I appreciate you watching my videos and supporting me, especially those who have been with me and watching me all along. I appreciate each and every one of you. I want to give a quick shout out to Becky at Keto Vergonian. I thank you for the super thanks and uh, it's greatly appreciated. Thanks for doing that for me. I really appreciate it. Okay, guys, just wanted to touch on my story a little bit. Back in September of 22, I had walked away from my job as a hotel general manager. Um, I was in a lot of pain at night. I couldn't even walk um, in my house without, you know, I could barely walk, put it that way. I was in so much pain. My back, my hips, my knees, my ankles hurt really bad. And uh, I decided to walk away from my job because I just... I, you know, life's too short to be in that much pain. I really didn't know what to do come the end of the year last year, and I didn't really do anything to address the problems. Um, I was trying to figure out if I was going to try for disability or what I was going to do, see if I was even able to work again, I guess. That was one of the things I was just trying to figure out. And, you know, December rolled around, and January rolled around, and uh, my wife had decided to do some intermittent fasting in December, and come the middle of January, rolled around, she'd lost 15 pounds just by eating once a day. She ate what she wanted, but she didn't, didn't have any weight to lose, to be honest. I didn't think so anyways. Um, but uh, it decided that I needed to do something, and I went on a weight loss journey. I was trying to figure out what to do, and I thought what would be best for me is a low-carb diet for the fact that, you know, I can't do a lot of exercise, couldn't do a lot of moving or anything like that, so I decided to do that. I started with a low-carb diet and quickly converted to a keto diet, ketogenic diet, and uh, I had a lot of success. In a couple of months, I lost 35 pounds. In five months, I lost 70 pounds doing keto, a ketogenic diet. Um, you know, I, I did some uh, carnivore in there, uh, the concept anyways, a couple of days. I'd do alternate days, uh, keto one day, carnivore the next, and I did that for a little while, but ultimately I was doing keto, and uh, it's one of those things that uh, as time went on, I got uh, eight months into the program, I'm, I'm sorry, seven months into the program, and I lost 85 pounds. Um, so right then I was kind of stuck and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try carnivore in the last four weeks. Um, I've did carnivore and I've lost over, I've lost 101 pounds in eight, basically eight, uh, months in one week and I'll take it. It's amazing. I feel great. You know, the four week carnivore, um, diet, I've lost, uh, 19 pounds and I thought that was really good because it's not like I was going from no diet to carnivore. I went from basically a ketovore diet to carnivore. So, um, and I lost 19 pounds the first four weeks and I thought that was pretty amazing. We'll take it. So besides the scale benefit of losing 101 pounds in a little over eight months, um, a lot of other good things have happened to me. One thing I noticed is my skin. Uh, it appears younger. There's like no blackheads, less wrinkles. I'm 51 years old and I think that's made a big difference uh, for me. Um, there's also less pain for me. Um, it's one of those things, my arthritis pain has kind of went away. I don't have the pain that I had. Um, I've been doing physical therapy now for, I want to say close to six weeks. And that's the extent of the exercise that I've had. Um, most of that weight was lost with no exercise. So just by changing what I ate, I changed my life and lost a lot of weight and I feel really good about it. So Keep that in mind. If you're able to exercise and do a weight loss plan like this, you should be able to lose a lot of weight. And uh, it, it feels great. So keep that in mind. One of the other things I notice is my confidence has went shot through the roof. I'm a lot more confident in everything that I do. Um, I feel good about myself. Um, I don't, you know, I don't hide from people or shy away from people. I'm more confident and that that's a big deal that's a big win so keep that in mind that's one of the also the non-scale victories um there's just numerous non-scale victories you know um just feeling so much better healthier confident um skin looks better i think i look a little bit younger um there's just you know less uh less trouble with my bowels um i guess you could say 
Um, it's not a, a daily issue anymore, and that's a that's a good thing. So, um, yeah, it's been working great. So, one of the other uh, things I want to mention is my body measurements. Not only did I lose over a hundred pounds in eight months, I lost twenty nine point two five inches around my body. Um, that's a big deal. I'm just going to highlight a couple of the bigger ones for you. Around my waist, I lost eight inches. On my hips, I lost six inches. On my chest, I lost seven inches. Uh, my neck, I lost two inches. I lost one inch on my bicep, two inches on my forearm, uh, one and a half inches on my calf, and my thigh, one and three quarters inches. Um, for a total of 29.25 inches. You know, one measurement I wish I would have had was around my belly, because I know that number has to be huge. Um, you know, I have no idea, but uh, I bet it's over 12 inches off, just off my belly, I'm willing to bet, maybe even more, I'm not real sure, to be honest, but uh, it feels pretty good. And, you know, those are all wins too. Uh, as you shrink in size, you're, you're getting new clothes. Um, you know, I'm able to shop stores that I've never shopped before because I'm the lightest I've been in 26 years. Um, you know, like 288 pounds. And, uh, you know, when I think of the 27 years, 26 years, I have been over 300 pounds. So that since I've been married, so it's one of those things, uh, it's a new me. I feel great. There's a lot of wins with losing weight and being healthier and living this lifestyle. That's for sure. So not only did I talk about measurements, but I do want to talk a little bit more about the one month carnivore results. Obviously I lost 19 pounds. That's a major win for one month. It'll be interesting to see what month two is. Um, the non-scale carnivore results, less overall pain in my body. I've noticed a significant difference in pain by being on carnivore. My guess is less inflammation, um, which is a big deal for me, especially when I suffer from so much arthritis. Um, cause I've honestly back in January, I thought I was going to be disabled the rest of my life. That's how much my life has changed where there's probably a good chance I'll be going back to work soon after I'm done taking care of my mom here. Um, she's kind of in her end of her days here. Uh, for those of you that maybe have not followed my story, I've been kind of taking her care of her. She was given five months to live and she's on month five right now. Um, she could go quite a bit longer here. She's doing pretty good and it's just day by day, one day at a time. And I enjoy taking care of her and, uh, I love her and I will miss her very much, but I also understand death pretty well. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things I've been a part-time life coach for 12, 13 years now. And, uh, you know, I've done a lot of grief coaching, so I understand it and get it. Do I have my own? You bet. Who doesn't, you know? One of the other things is I have a lot less cravings uh, for foods. Um, that's one thing I noticed about carnivore. You know, you don't, you, you aren't really that hungry very often. So that's one thing. And then obviously, you know, losing inches, I can tell, you know, I lost 19 uh, pounds this last month, but pants that I bought, um, I'll put a picture up here, but the pants I bought a month ago don't fit me anymore. I wore them like three times. So needless to say, I get, need to get some new jeans. So that's another advantage. You're losing inches. I guess, you know, looking at the near future here, I plan on continuing with carnivore. Um, I've got four weeks completed. I'm on week five right now. I'm going to do that for a little while. Other things coming up though. I mean, I, I would really like to try an egg fast once and just see what that does. Um, you know, as I've done all these different, uh, plans it, it's kind of nice to see what they all do for my body and i guess i encourage you that you know if you are struggling in the plan you're on you need to make some adjustments and that's one thing i've done all along if i got stuck guess what i decided to go carnivore for a little while um i did that a couple times i alternated i changed up my my plan a little bit to continue to lose weight and i guess that's why i lost over 100 pounds in eight months i know there's some people out there struggling and i think that you know if you've been kind of stuck at the same weight um, and you're not seeing a lot of results, you need to make some changes on your plan. I always have a saying, work the plan, adjust the plan, but never quit. And it's important that you make adjustments to your plan if you're not getting the results that you want to see. Um, you know, granted, sometimes weight loss can stall, but that's when you need to do something different. You need to change your, shock your body, trick your body into, uh, 
um, doing some things. And, you know, there's times where I would uh, not lose weight, I, even though I was doing keto and I'd have a cheat meal. And you know what would happen? It's like it reset my metabolism and I started losing weight again. So you have to play around and understand your body and what works well for it and keep working the plan. You'll, you'll get there, my friends. Don't get discouraged. Keep plugging away. Make some adjustments and never quit. That's the key. It's one of those things, I think if you're looking at going on a weight loss journey, you have to be open as to what you're, you're willing to try for yourself and your body. Um, keep that in mind. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna tell you what plan to do. And I think there's a lot of people out here, I notice on YouTube and the weight loss community, they're pretty sold on the, the plan that they're on and they will promote the heck out of that. And I'm here to tell you, you have to do what works for you. Um, carnivore may not work for you and that's okay. Uh, there's other plans out there that will work. I know i I lost weight on low carb. I lost weight on keto. I lost weight on ketovore. I lost weight on carnivore. Even uh, 12 years ago, I lost weight on the standard American diet, uh, with calorie restriction and working out. You can lose weight that way too. Um, I didn't maintain it though. I will say that, you know, I, I kept it off a couple years, but I gained it right back. So, you know, everything you try is a learning process, but you have to learn what works best for your body and do that. Now, I have some recommendations. I'm not a doctor. You know, uh, make sure you seek out any medical uh, advice before you start any kind of weight loss plan. But I would highly recommend if anybody's going to start on a weight loss plan that they probably start with low carb and then go from there. Or make adjustments to your plan um, and do what works for you. Because uh, not everything's going to work for everyone. There's, I'm not a, a big firm believer that there's only one way to, to get to the finish line there. I think there's many ways to get to the finish line. Um, so I'm not going to sit here and tout one diet over the other. You do what works for you. That's the most important thing that you can do. Uh, it's your weight loss journey. It's no one else's. Um, and keep that in mind. Hey, I just want to remind you guys, I also I sell t-shirts now. Um, I have a t-shirt store. The link is in the description below. Um, you know, join one of the clubs if you've lost some weight and want to show that off to your family and friends and kind of get them questioning what you're doing. One of those shirts would be great. It has a lot of the foods that I ate, I know, on it uh, to help me lose weight. So keep that in mind, let alone you can be a part of a club. There's nothing wrong with that. I have some other t-shirts too with some other sayings. You might want to check that out. Also, I have some uh, Amazon links below on products that I use to help me lose weight along on my journey. Uh, make sure you check those out. Also, um, I do have an eBay store. I've been that's a side hustle I've been doing for a long time. I'm selling uh, new and used products on uh, eBay. The link is there. It has nothing to do with weight loss, but I do have some older and unique items in there. Uh, you might want to check that out as well. One thing I wanted to mention. I'm starting to do weight loss coaching along with my life coaching uh, side business. I do that and, uh, you know, I've been very successful with losing weight and I think I could help you get over the hump if you're stuck or if you're having struggles. Uh, reach out to me. I'm glad to, to give you a hand. Um, I do do that. I just want to thank you all for watching, especially if you made it this far. Please give me a big thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button. It would be greatly appreciated. I appreciate each and every one of you and uh, just thank you for watching and you guys have a great day. Take care of my friends. God bless. Bye.